Hi, Patrick here from Hatch Eater Will View. Um, wow, we're here for another film review. And uh, this time we're going to be reviewing a movie of, gosh, I've done this in a long time. Uh, but we are going to be reviewing a movie that was sent to us by our good friends over at Bayview. And today we'll be talking about Lovers uh, on Borders. Uh, this is a 2018 film that was written and directed by, uh, co-written uh, by... Ashashi Funahashi. I know I'm crushing the name. I'm really sorry about that. Um, but I, I can tell you this. This is a very cool movie. Very interesting. Very rich. Uh, it's, it tells two tales of two love stories. Uh, one takes place in 2011 Japan uh, after the earthquake. And one takes place... Um, based off uh, uh, the, the stories are based on two major disasters the earthquake in Japan in 2011 and the 1755 Lisbon earthquake in Portugal that pretty much destroyed a lot of the country uh, so if we open up with the first story first which is set in, in modern-day Japan and it's a story about uh, a young man named Kashiro and his uh, his his wife uh, Mariana, uh, and they are uh, they're a young couple in love, and uh, they both work at a plant together uh, during the day, and then at night they uh, perform uh, at a Portuguese club. They they do a what they call fado. It's a music called fado. It's a Portuguese uh, music, and things be seem to be going really really well. And in fact, Kashiro is uh, just about ready to sign a loan that will allow him to open up a, uh, a Portuguese guitar shop, a business. So he will have his own business and him and Mariana can, can, um, can go on their, you know, start their own lives instead of working for the, you know, working at the factory. So he's at the bank and... Uh, and he's 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 real close to getting the the loan. I mean, all they all it's just a formality, so they're celebrating, uh, and then uh, then we see that at the plant there's there's both Japanese workers and there's also Portuguese workers. So they're they're you know they're working together, and then um, then one day uh, a company man named uh, Soji Shoji comes. And he tells them because uh, uh, they're gonna have to cut five people. Uh, they put a group together, and they're gonna they're gonna let five people go uh, among the group. And uh, of course, uh, the Portuguese feel it's because it's them, because it's their uh, it's their nationality. But that's not the case, as uh, there are Japanese that are also let go. Uh, Soji uh, lets four go, and um, and this one guy, he, after hearing one of his friends get fired, he, uh, he steps up there and he says, you, you can't do this. And so, so she fires him as well. Basically, it's a severance pay. He's cutting five and, uh, he says because their attitudes or they're late or all various reasons, uh, they're basically looking to, to, to cut down on the bottom line. Um, and then out of the blue, and this is really, I just couldn't understand this myself, but um, uh, Kashiro, uh, he steps up and he volunteers. He doesn't want his friend to get fired, so he says, I'll, I'll take, I'll, you know, I'll, I'll do it. He, he allows himself to get laid off, to get fired. Mind blower. Absolutely mind blower. Um, of course... They accept his basically his resignation, his his, his volunteerism. I volunteer as tribute, um, and uh, so now he has no job, and of course the bank is looking at him going like you know, and the banker is looking at him going like, are you fucking nuts? <laughs> Why would you do that? Um, you got to have a job in order to get a loan, and uh, of course without the job. He's done. They, they, there's just no way they're gonna lend him money without without having a, a a job. So that that Portuguese guitar shop is a dead dream. And uh, Mariana is at a loss too as to why he would do that, but he's concerned. She's concerned, and um, and.
and then it ends up to leading where um, Kashiro, well, he does. Let's put it this way: he does the, he does the, he does Japanese what very well. He does the he does he does it the Japanese way. He fixes the problem. Uh, that may be sort of harsh, but that is actually true. So anyway, that's what happens. Uh, then we flash forward to 1755 in Lisbon, and we see a, 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 a rich landowner named Casper. Uh, he lands in Lisbon, and he finds out uh, the, the, the city's in absolute ruins. He's back from Japan. He's come back from Japan, and he's got, after being overseas for many, you know, for at least years, and uh, he owns slaves and workers, and he also has two Japanese slaves that he took with him. So... Uh, he comes through and they march through the town uh, to his house. In his house, he finds that his house has been intact while the rest of the Lisbon has just been destroyed. Uh, and then we see Gaspar's nature in, um, as one of his stewards is whipping a slave. And Gaspar tells him to stop. Don't do it. Don't do it. So, um, But they march to the house and out of public's eye. Gasper shows his true colors, and we find out that he is a vicious, vicious man. Very cruel. He beats the slave to death. Uh, he whips him to death. Um, he's a very cruel man. One of the worst I've ever seen on film. Holy shit, you wanted this guy to die in the most horribly. Uh, anyway, but uh, he, he, he does that. He, he, he imposes his will on his workers, and... Um, and, uh, and and we find out that he brought the two Japanese over, uh, not for like cultural exchange or anything like that. He wanted revenge because one of his, uh, because one of his, his one of his uh, friends uh, was uh, was killed, was burned to death. It had nothing to do with the two men that he brought back from Japan. He just hates them. He just hates them for what they did. He brought these two back because he planned on working them to death. Um, and there's a slave girl there as well. Uh, her name is Mariana. And, uh, and Mariana, uh, uh, is, uh, is smitten with, with this young Japanese man named Soji. Um, and over the course of the time, they fall in love, but it's a forbidden love. Gasper has told him, you know, told, tells her not to be, go around them. Not to be around them, not to go inside of their quarters, and and he's just a very cruel man. And when Soji tries to stop an injustice, uh, he's killed. Uh, Gasper kills him. So so now we have a set that both both men and both stories have died, and we see that both ladies are Mariana, and what they do is they put in a plan for revenge. And I can't go much further than that uh, with it, uh, how it happens or why it happens. I will say this. The ending is one of the most beautiful I've seen. It's, it's a beautiful ending. It's, it makes sense, if you will. Um, I really like this movie a lot. Um, I love foreign film anyway. And this is a very rich story. Um, I thought the cast was really good. Uh, the first half of the movie is done in subtitles, um, and then um, uh, uh, and then during the first, the second half of the first story, it switches over to English. So um, so there's English right there, but the second story is all the way through in uh, Japanese and and, and Portuguese, and uh, so you'll have subtitles there. Um, yeah, like I said, the acting was good. I really enjoyed it. Um, the storyline, <laughs> uh, the plot line for the, for the plot line for the for the first story and the first half of the of the movie, it is going to be a little bit off putting, quite honestly, uh, because you truly don't understand why uh, why the main character did what he did. Um, but otherwise, that you know, you have to have you have to have a, a, an action for there to be a reaction. Um, you can get this movie, Lovers on, on Borders, on Bayview.com. I'll put that in the description box. I'll also put the database page on here so you guys can take a look at it and see who the actors are. I can tell you some of their names. I can't, 
I did think that uh, Anna Mor Moriah, Maria, Moriah, as M Mariana, I thought she was really good. Um, uh, I would have, yeah, she was really good. Uh, of course, the guy who steals the show is a fine Portuguese actor named Antonio Durkes, and he plays Gasper. And let me tell you, by the time the movie ends, um, yeah, you you'll be uh, you'll, you'll be raging against the machine, waiting for that guy to get to get his, and he does. I uh, will say that he he does get it. He do, he gets what he deserves. Um, all right, I want to thank our, our good friend uh, 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 Peter from um, from uh, 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 Bayview. Got it. Uh, to, for this, and um, and, and uh, we'll be back again sooner than later with another review. Uh, Bayview is a, a fine company, puts out a lot of great movies. Uh, um, I do have a playlist of past Bayview uh, movies. I have reviewed a couple of the directors on the movie, so if you want to check those out as well, uh, they're there. Um, but otherwise, yeah, I, I recommend this. All right, thanks for watching. And, uh, yeah, uh, if you're new to the channel, please consider hitting the, uh, please hitting the sub button, hit the notification bell, let you know whenever I do a new review and, um, drop a comment down below. Uh, me and the Cheeto, we do answer them. Um, okay. This is Saturday the 1st. This is like the first official day of the, uh, uh, uh of the spectacular. Oh no, that was yesterday, wasn't it? Uh, well, anyway, um, th uh, this Sunday, um, yeah, this today's the first day of the spectacular. So tomorrow's October 2nd on the Midnight Society. Uh, we'll be back with our look at John Wick, uh, John Wick 3. Uh, I'll be joined by uh, Betty J. Gathers and Anthony from uh, Fever Dreamland Theater and the Cinema Squad. And uh, who knows? We might even have some surprises. Who knows? Keep your fingers crossed. All right. Uh, we will talk at you soon. And um, yeah, be good to each other. Peace.